Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Factorial Mega Base. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I upgraded my uh, version of the game to version 12.17. So we have new icons. Yay! And uh, look at the icons. I have to refocus on what is what. That isn't a big problem, but it just uh, requires some time. So. I really like the new style that they are going so so yeah uh, let's get more follower accounts and uh, that's not everything uh, that I've changed uh, in the last episode we we upgraded our our green circuit and as you can see they are fully backed up now so things are working really really nice and it's going pretty darn quick I don't have uh, enough uh, productivity modules but I do have enough uh, speed so we can put speed in everything that we need and like I said power is going to be a problem well power isn't a problem right now but in this episode we're going to make a train station for a setup for uh, solar fields and uh, I noticed this spot and I thought well this can be a very very nice spot for a train station where we can set up a, a nice solar field so this whole corner when this is gone can be filled with solar panels I thought so halfway we're going to make an, make an exit and uh, we'll start building our solar field up here these train tracks are never going to be upgraded so this can be a very nice spot for that and another thing that happened was that I heard a sound and that sound suggests that I have to pick up a satellite so let's run up let's grab ourselves a satellite and we are going to launch the first rocket of this series so let's head down and let's start sending our first rocket into space and as you can see some items are starting to back up so that is really a very really good thing to have and as you can see it's already ready the only thing we have to do is insert the rocket and hit the launch button so there is our first rocket let's stand back a little bit there's our first rocket yay first rocket of the series can we keep up no we can't keep up yay we finished the game in 48 hours and of course we are going to continue so we killed about 2,000 big biters, less medium biters, big spitters, bless you. My uh, girlfriend is sitting next to me and she had to sneeze. <laughs> we killed some trees, <laughs> we crashed one car, one lamp, one mining grill. Alright, let's continue, time enough. And now we have score one rocket sent and hopefully we can increase that number throughout the series so for new goals for the series what do you guys want to see um, of course I'm going to expand uh, my my base I, I want to set up the wall still the perimeters um, like now we're going to build a solar expansion but there should be a time where we are going to build a new base and that base has to be bigger and what should be the goals of that base so here we have the smaller station and I think this is the train size that I want to use for, for it so let's copy this and also do it at the same height we can have a station here that would be fine rails is coming in 
and we are going to call this uh, fence post uh, solar solar pickup solar pickup and then of course we want to have two trains and two wagons two trains and two wagons and the nice thing is this is really at a nice location at, at least I think it's a nice location to have it it's pretty close to our base and uh, we need to request the chest over here this is for the trains for fuel so let's request in some fuel also let's get some substations yeah nice it's going to fit there it's not on the same line as this one but it fits should I do it yeah I guess I should huh so let's do it at the same height so it's overlapping by two so you go drive and you go to solar pickup all right that one is lined up and what do we want to have in our cargo wagons well of course solar panels then we want to have uh, substations we want to have robo ports we want to have well, let's call it in we want solar panels and I want two boxes for solar panels oh crap and I have to set let's call it off um, because I have to set the cargo wagons first all right these are going to be the most important things in our base or in the wagon so full row of solar panels uh, let's grab our stuff first that we need so we need substations let's grab substations we need accumulators and we need robo ports and in my design I like to have a radar in there as well do we want to have radars in the solar fields Hmm, it's not really necessary, is it? Let's do don't do radars because it takes up a full slot. So we have a full row of accumulators, and then we need substations and we need robot ports that's the two and let's say we have wood because we're getting wood back as well from a uh, building outpost so should this be enough or should we swap this out for for that one and let's do another wood over here let's do it like this this will be our layout for the cargo wagons so you can start loading there we go loading the wagons and 
can fill this up. So these are those. Let's grab the accumulators in here. And also do two requested chests. Then we want to have a requested chest for substations. A requested chest for uh, the robo ports. There and then this one can be removed. And we want to have uh, some requested or some provided chest actually. One, two, and we want to have four smart inserters taking out the wood. So you may only pick up the wood inside of the train. When there's wood inside it, so we can start unloading that. Um, let's give the last one power. Let's grab some lights. So we can do something about the darkness in here. Nice, 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 nice. So as you can see this middle station is becoming very busy already. And I really like this. So the train is starting to fill up, that's good. Um, the next thing that we have to do is set up a uh, station. And therefore, uh, I guess we need to dump some of this stuff. Um, also, let's grab some ourselves some smart inserters. We still have plenty of them laying around at least. I hope so. Yeah, let's grab 50 of them, should have plenty of those, um, we want to have quite a few bots with us, some construction bots, uh, let's see, where is my bot build, here's my bot build, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 bots. That should be sufficient, I guess. So we can dump these bots all in the system, and I'd want to have, let's say, 200 logistics bots over there. Uh, we need some signals. Because we're building a outpost, of course. We need to have tracks with us. Let's grab a third stack. And I think that is all that we need. We need a train stop. Actually two, because I want to have a pack siding there. And we are going to take, or we should have a design, design for a one way exit or do we need a double no we don't need a double there what we need is our train we have plenty of stuff in here that we need I do want to have some radars there in the station alright let's go and we take the train to PAX Iron 3 I think that's the most convenient thing to go to. And yes, our iron field is empty. I started to remove that one. Um, although I haven't fully removed the station. 
but uh, I c we can finish up the line in the next episode, I guess. Oh crap, I forgot the design for a outpost or a solar field. I guess we have to do that in the next episode. The th most important thing that this uh, train will start running and delivering of goods. And we have a solar station or a solar field outpost building up and running. And this train is only going to run between the uh, between the sev several fields. I think this is a good location too. This is halfway through. Also on this side, it's fairly close. I think this should be uh, the place where we are going to insert the off ramp. So let's remove these lights. So remove this way through. And in here we are going to to build the uh, ramp. Everything should be hooked up again. And uh, for the convenience we can insert some traffic lights again. Alright, let's move this one a little bit forward. Enter in the other train and let's go in here. So we want the train to stop pretty far in, like this. We're going to have a pack siding in here. Mm, let's do it a little bit further up, like this, so we can have some some room for uh, robo ports or something like that. Um, station there, station here, and this is going to be solar field one. Not just solar field one, and this is going to be PAX solar field one. You back up a little bit. You are not going to PAX Iron, but you go to Solar Field 1. Now to Solar Field. There we go. Pause you. So now the train is lined up. We want to have some smart inserters exiting uh, the goods. We want double sided, yes. Like this. We want passive providers. And I didn't brought enough materials with me. And I do want to insert some uh, requested chests as well. That's why there is a gap between some of the uh, the boxes. Oh crap! This one and those are going to request wood. With inserting into the train with smart inserters because I only want to have wood in the trains and nothing else so um, as for power we have substations and it fits with the 
one substation. There's one substation in between. So let's do it like this. And it should be even. Yeah, it's even now. And we can extend this a little bit. Because the, here is going to be a lot of a lot of traffic of all the robo ports. So we want to have plenty of robo ports here. So let me grab all the robo ports that are in here. Because like I said, all the the, the robots will start to pick up start to pick up uh, supplies here and there should be enough uh, charging capacity around here and that is also why we left uh, plenty of space for uh, a pack siding and I guess it wasn't even enough so signals here and there should make it work As for that, uh, the only thing we have to do is set up the filters and run power this way. And then we have, should have at least, we can set network conditions. One thing to do, lights. That's them, the robots in here. As for the filters, you grab only solar panels, and when there are less than, let's say, how many do I want here? I want to have a thousand on call. Same for you, same for you. next thing we want to have is accumulators and also a thousand accumulators when there's less than a thousand accumulators you may work you may insert wood that's not so difficult we want to have, let's say, substations. I don't want to have as many substations, let's say 200. Still plenty of substations though, but, oh, we do have to set less than, yes, okay, that's working. And you and you. You may unload substations as well. And the last one is uh, the, the robot ports. And uh, I want to have, let's say, 20 robot ports in here at max. So this train should be empty right now. There's nothing in there. We can start to go back. Uh, next time we'll come back with some uh, with some uh, blueprints and we can start setting up the field. One more thing that I want to place is some buffer chests where the uh, bots can drop off the uh, the non-required materials or non-needed materials actually. And I don't have room for more but uh, we're heading back to base we're heading back to solar pickup thank you all for watching i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like the video and uh, leave a comment if you want to for uh, new goals in the in the series and uh, yeah well well i'll see you guys next time bye